The Year of the Snake Chinese Cultural Arts Celebration was held at the Huntington Library in Los Angeles. The event, held at the Library and Botanical Gardens by Jiangsu Cultural Association, the Ministry of Culture of the People's Republic of China, the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Los Angeles, Beauty Media Incorporated, and ICN TV Network, brought together several important members of the Chinese community, including Xuan Wei Da, the Deputy Consul General and Cultural Representative of the Consulate General's Office, and Congresswoman Judy Chu. Artists and performers from Jiangsu Province came to the library to demonstrate traditional Chinese crafts and music. The event was open to the public the entire day and was a great start to the Chinese New Year celebration. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. <laughs> Governor Jerry Brown has announced that he will be leading a trade mission to China this spring to promote California businesses. Many areas of the state are already doing major trade with China and doing quite well. According to Governor Brown, food and agricultural products are one of California's top exports to China and have the largest room for growth this decade. Tai Zong, with the U.S. and China Business and Culture Association, says demand for California goods is rising in China. Currently, there are 300 million middle class in China. They want to improve, uh, improve their lifestyle. They want to understand what is out there available. Many California businesses say the state opening a trade office in China makes sense. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Apple Incorporated says its sales in China surged 67% during the last quarter of 2012. But the company should be seeing more competition from the Chinese smartphone market. China accounted for 13% of Apple's total sales, compared with 8.8% the year earlier. Apple has been expanding in China, with 11 retail stores and more than 400 premium resellers. China surpassed the United States as the world's largest smartphone market last year. Mobile phone manufacturers Lenovo and Huawei should be tough competition for Apple this year. With China Mobile, the world's biggest telecom operator, not carrying the iPhone, Apple may still have some catching up to do. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. The ICN 2013 North American TV Spring Festival Gala took place on January 26th at the Pasadena Municipal Theater in Pasadena, Los Angeles. ICN brought together outstanding performance artists from around the world to put on a show to celebrate the Year of the Snake and the Spring Festival. The Spring Festival Gala attracted a full theater crowd and many important members of the community, including Mr. Chu Xiaofeng, Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Los Angeles. The show opened with Brazilian samba dancers and a live snake. Shaolin Kung Fu group showed off their fighting skills and focused strength. A traditional Chinese music group brought out 8,000-year-old Chinese bells to play. Nanjing Little Flower Art Troupe sang and danced to the sound of music and traditional Chinese sounds. From Israel came a dance group that combined traditional Israeli dance with modern dance style. Internationally renowned piano master Chen Rubin played for the crowd. Many other dance styles were shown off, including the waltz. ICN will continue to bring quality events such as this in the future. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans will host the San Francisco 49ers and the Baltimore Ravens, and Bay Area fans are feeling the excitement. This will mark the first time in football history that the opposing coaches are brothers with Baltimore's John Harbaugh and San Francisco's Jim Harbaugh having a little sibling rivalry. Colin Kaepernick, the Niners quarterback, is a rising star, and many fans think he is the main reason the team made it this far this year. Super Bowl Sunday is this weekend, and the city of San Francisco should be full of fans getting together to watch the game and hopefully celebrating a big win. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Changxing Island in Dalian now holds the record for the largest shipyard in the world, after it began operation earlier this month. STX Shipbuilding Company uses the shipyard for the final assembly of big ships. The yard is 460 meters long with a width of 135 meters and can accommodate two ships to be built simultaneously. Ships being built in the yard can be up to 320,000 tons each. The Dalian boat yard is one meter longer and one meter wider than the previous record holder for size, operating out of the Philippines. 
STX is the fourth largest shipbuilding company in the world in terms of orders received. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. The Beta Breakers is a long-running San Francisco tradition and is seeing its 102nd race this year. The lighthearted competition sees many Bay Area residents dress up in fun costumes and have a good time with friends for a casual 12K race. The main sponsor, Zazzle, a website for custom designed products, has pulled out this year, leaving the beta breakers looking for a new group to cover the million dollar price tag that the race needs to put on the event. The race is on May 19th this year, so that leaves about four months for the organizers to sort out the problem. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. President Obama has backed a bill proposal by a bipartisan group of senators to reform the nation's immigration policy which is good news for many Chinese in the U.S. The framework seeks to make it easier to give a green card to Ph.D. and master students in some science majors who have found jobs in the country. Under the proposals, illegal aliens would have to pay a fine but could still hold out hopes of getting a green card if they had no serious criminal record. President Obama's reform proposals are not yet law, but if they were to be passed, it would benefit Chinese workers trying to get jobs in the U.S. greatly. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. The U.S. Navy angered environmental groups earlier this month when the USS Guardian ran aground in a protected marine area near the Philippines. The ship still has not been removed due to the delicate reef area it is trapped in and bad weather covering the region. A salvage team has removed 15,000 gallons of fuel from the vessel to prevent spillage and more damage being caused to the reef. The reef, known as Tibataha, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site treasured for its rich biodiversity. The U.S. could be held liable for the equivalent of nearly $1 million in damage to the reef. An investigation is being made into why the ship ran aground in the first place. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Oil company Chevron has paid about $10 million and has begun corrective action to make up for the fire at its Richmond refinery last summer. The California-based corporation has paid the money in connection to nearly 24,000 claims from residents in compensation to area hospitals and local government agencies in Richmond and Contra Costa County, according to a report filed by the Contra Costa County Health Services Department on Monday. The fire on August 6th sent a cloud of black smoke over residential areas, and thousands of people complained of eye irritation and breathing problems. Chevron plans to release results of the company's internal investigation into the fire soon. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Shantou Airlines has moved one-third of its transportation capacity to Yiwu. As the first airline to launch flights into Yiwu, a city famous for its small commodity markets, Shantou Airlines currently owns the largest market share in the city. It is upgrading its Boeing 737-300 to Boeing 737-800s. Upon completion of the fleet refurbishment, there will be more than 2,100 air seats registered in Yiwu. In 2012, Shantou Airlines launched flights between Yiwu and many different cities around China. The city will strive to launch international flights in 2013. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee and the city's police and fire chiefs went around the city on Wednesday, assuring merchants that the neighborhood would be safe from excessive celebration if the 49ers win the Super Bowl on Sunday. The Mission District was a particular focus after the damage caused by the fans of San Francisco Giants after the World Series last October. Yes. Well, you provide such a wonderful service here and everybody uh, just wants to make sure that when we do celebrate the win uh, for the yes. Super Bowl that we do it respectfully and I, I really want to thank you for working with us. We asked some people in the Bay Area about their plans for Super Bowl weekend. This weekend I'm just going to go out with my friends probably to the city. We're going to go go bar hopping, hopefully see those Niners win. Maybe afterwards hopefully celebrate with all the other fans. So are you a big Niners fan? Uh, I would say I am. I'm not as big as, I'm not a diehard fan, but I definitely support Bay Area teams. Well, I have work early, but I want to catch the end of the game, hopefully with my family afterwards. Uh, are you a big Niners fan? Um, I don't follow it too much, but I'll catch a game if I have the chance to. I'll definitely get into it. You gonna do much celebrating? Oh, definitely. Definitely we'll be partying for Super Bowl Sunday, of course. 
Police are working with the city's Department of Public Works to make sure trash bins are cleared on Sunday to keep down the possibility of street fires. Mayor Lee wants the whole city to show support for the 49ers and even had some landmarks around the city lit red and gold. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said that the United States wants to see a cooperative, comprehensive, and positive relationship with China. Clinton told a global town hall forum in Washington on Tuesday that the U.S. wants to deepen and broaden its engagement with China. I uh, helped to put together the strategic and economic dialogues, which we then use to discuss everything um, from border security to food uh, safety to uh, cyber uh, matters. And we want to continue that because we believe strongly that there's, the world is big enough for a lot of uh, nations to be important players, and that is certainly true of uh, China. Researchers of U.S. studies at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences said it can be expected that Obama will not significantly change the general framework of its China policy, but aggressive contradictions in his previous term will be reduced. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Architects, engineers, and historians have come together to show how the giant landmarks of San Francisco stay standing tall in an earthquake. Using a combination of real video and computer-generated effects, the outer layers of the structures are peeled away to show the inner workings and underground features that keep everything up. Because of San Francisco's delicate location near a major California fault line, architects had to put a lot of very specific technology into the buildings and bridges to make sure they would stay structurally sound. The technology used to show off these inner workings has also been used to understand many other landmarks from all around the world. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Consumer confidence in China rebounded in the fourth quarter as economic growth picked up amid low inflation, according to a Nielsen survey released on Wednesday. The quarterly consumer confidence index rose by two percentage points to 108 in the last quarter, which the survey showed was 17 points ahead of the global average. According to Nielsen, urbanization will be the driving force behind economic growth. It will increase domestic consumption, new investments, and GDP, which will account for 37.5% of GDP growth by 2020. Looking forward, analysts at Nielsen believe consumer confidence may increase in 2013 due to the economy and robust consumption. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Hundreds of California school districts have been turning to a controversial form of financing called capital appreciation bonds to pay for new projects. The bonds don't require payments for many years, but could cause districts to pay up to 23 times the amount they borrowed. Albert sold about $57 million worth of cabs. And over a 40-year period, that $57 million is going to cost the people of Albert a total of about $375 million. Typical school bonds require borrowers to begin making payments within six months and cost two to three times the principal amount to repay. Voters usually support capital appreciation bonds because they don't realize the interest rates, which has led to some states banning their use. Tom Torlaxon, the state superintendent, has called for an end to be put to the use of these bonds, saying that we shouldn't just push our debt onto future generations. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Professional tennis player Li Na made it to the final of the Australian Open over the weekend before losing to Victoria Azarenka of Belarus because of a bad ankle injury during the match. Although she lost, fans are showing her great support and encouragement, and she is on her way to becoming a global superstar. When she rolled her ankle in the second set, she lost her balance and fell, hitting her head on the ground, but she smiled and got back up quickly, impressing the crowd. Li is one of China's most recognizable sports stars and is inspiring millions of people with her drive and positive attitude. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Every year, the Spring Festival in China causes millions of people to embark on the world's biggest travel rush. Extra travel services are being organized until May 6. The rail network is expected to handle 225 million trips, while long-distance buses will transport up to 3.1 billion passengers. Air travel will account for some 35.5 million journeys and has been growing as a common form of transportation for the festival.
The Spring Festival is a time for everyone to go visit family across every background. Students are coming home from university, young families are taking their kids to see their grandparents, and everyone is doing what they can to get together and celebrate. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Auto thefts are up 17% in the East Bay from 2011 to 2012, according to law enforcement officials. It is the second year in a row of increasing auto thefts. The California Highway Patrol says that stolen cars can lead to a host of secondary problems because people who steal cars use them to commit robberies and many other crimes. The most targeted cars are the 1990s models of Honda Accords and Honda Civics. A new trend of stolen Ford F-250s is also taking place because they are mostly used by construction workers and contain recyclable materials and valuable tools. Police are advising to always find a safe place to park your vehicle when possible and encourage the use of steering wheel locks. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco.